Let's answer this question. Mr. Gilpates owns a three-eighth of Macruhard. Macru After selling one-third of his share, how much of Macruhard does Mr. Uh, Gilpates still own? Ito yung after selling, sinisell niya yung share niya, one-third sa share niya, at ito yung own niya, na own niya, three, uh, three over eight. Solution number one. Ito muna ang gagawin natin, itong given na solution or sagot dito. Ito yung own niya. Bali, one-third sa own niya, so, in other words, one-third of three-eight, pareho lang yan sa, i-multiply mo siya sa one-third Ang of ay multiplication, 3, 8. Kahit balikta rin mo man yan, pareho lang yan. Kaya, minomultiply ito. 3, 8 times 1 third. Ang sagot dito ay 3 over 24. 3 over 24, kapag ni-reduce mo yan, bali, uh, para ma-reduce mo yan, i-find mo yung greatest common factor, which is 3. So, i-divide mo ng 3 ang numerator at saka denominator, and that is 1 over 8. So, ito yung 1 over 8. Next, ito yung 3 over 8, yan yung sa kanya, yung own niya na share. Yan yung share niya. 3 over 8. I-minus mo itong na-sell out niya, na-sell na -sell niya, na-benta niya. So, this is 2 over 8. 2 over 8 is also equal to 1 fourth. I-explain ko ulit itong solution number 1 natin para mas lalong maintindihan. Ang given dito, bali, si Gil Bates own 3.8 okay, sa share niya. After selling 1 third sa 3.8, after nag-sell siya ng 1 third sa 3.8, ang tanong dito is magkano yung ilan na yung natira niya. Okay. Kung Kung binintan niya yung one-third, so may two-third siya, doon muna tayo sa one-third. Ilan ba ang equivalent ng one-third na yon? So, ang one-third ng three-eight ay one-eight. Yung three-eight niya mismo, minus yung one-third, yan na yung natira sa kanya. Two over eight. Two over eight is equivalent to one-fourth. Now, let's do solution number two. Para mas lalong maintindihan. Gawin natin ganito. Gil Bates own 3.8. After selling one-third of his share, how much of macro hard does Mr. Gil Bates still own? Ito yung uh, sinisell niya. So, ang tanong lang naman is how much of macro hard does Gil Bates still own? So, ibig sabihin, yung one-third... Binenta niya. So, ang natira na lang sa kanya ay yung two-third. Saan galing yung two-third? Kasi yung buo ay one. Ang equivalent ng one ay ipariho mo sa denominator na three. So, three over three. Yung three over three, i-minus mo sa one-third. Yan yung uh, binenta mo. So, kopyahin ang denominator na three. Three minus one equals two. Bali, ang natira mo ay two-third. Two-third ang natira mo. Bininta mo si one-third. Again, bininta mo si one-third. Ang natira mo ay two-third. Yang two-third na yan, two-third of three-eight. Kasi yan yung pag-aari niya is what? Bali, ito na yung magbibigay sa atin ng uh, formula. Paano? Si two-third, kopyahin lang. C of multiplication yan siya. C3 over 8 kopyahin is equal yan siya. What? Yan yung hanapin natin. I-multiply mo lang yan. That is 6. 3 times 8, that is 24. Hanapan mo ng greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor niya ay 6. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Ang sagot ay 1 fourth. Letter D. Uulitin ko yung solution number 2 natin para mas lalo pa pang maintindihan. Yung 3, 8, yan yung 
uh, pag-aari niya. Ngayon, ibenta niya yung one-third. Kung ibenta na yung one-third, may hirun pa siyang two-third na napira. So, bali, kung gawa natin siya ng statement, two-third of three-eight. Bali, two-third yung natira of three-eight ay ilan ba? Yun, I mean, yung two-third of three-eight is yun yung natira. Yun yung magbibigay sa atin ng answer. Okay, two-third of three-eight, yan na yung answer natin. So, kopyahin si two-third. C of ay multiplication niya. Kopyahin naman si three over eight. Ang is equal yan siya. So, two times three equals six. Three times eight equals twenty-four. I-list mo yung six over twenty-four. Ang sagot ay one-fourth. Kaya, letter D.